Hey everybody, it's Joe from Old Man Photography. Uh, this is number two of our videos uh, as far as sharing things that we've learned uh, along the way in photography. So uh, let's get right to it. Uh, the last video I talked about having a plan when you go out. Just don't go out scatterbrained and uh, be all over the place. So this video I want to talk about how do we implement or how do we keep track of that plan. Uh, the simplest and easiest thing I found to do was uh, have a journal or a diary, something that we can sort of write things down, keep track of things, and then at some point in the future, look back on them. Uh, they can be as simple as uh, a journal you pick up at the, at the bookstore or whatever. It can be as something as simple as at the dollar store. But I like to get something I can keep things in. And... Um, what I will do usually at the beginning of the year in January, I will actually start to write ideas and things that I want to do for the coming year. Uh, it could be as simple as uh, number one, uh, things I want to photograph this year. Uh, it may be landscape, it could be nature, sunrises, sunsets, uh, it could be my pets, it could be my grandchildren, it could be friends and family. It could be food, it could be macro photography, but it's an idea of what I want to try to accomplish this year and it allows me to focus on, on those things and, uh, and keep a running track of it. Uh, I may also have number two in there, places to photograph. Um, I like to go to Pittsburgh a lot. I may want to go to New York if I want to go to Italy or to another country so I can keep track of those uh, goals and ideas. Uh, and then also times I want to photograph, uh, morning sunrises, uh, evening sunsets, uh, midday, uh, it could be cloudy days, uh, nighttime, I do a lot of astrophotography. So I put all that in my journal. So A, it keeps me organized and keeps me kind of focused and it helps with that having a plan. What am I going to do? Where am I going to go? What equipment do I need to take? Uh, the other thing with my journal or diary is what I do is, is every time I'm out, I write a little something. I keep track of things. Where I was, the time I was there, and what happened. Um, and if anything interesting, I brought a friend along or something surprising happened that I didn't anticipate, I like to put that in there. So a year, two, three years down the road, I can look back and read some of that and either have a little chuckle or it was a nice memory or I learned something. Um, the other thing about keeping a diary and a journal is that if you mark down it, you were a particular place and you were like, my God, the sun setting over this building or over this grassland or this set of woods was just perfect, you can almost guarantee that if you go back to that same spot a year from now, that that same event will occur again. Now, that doesn't mean that it won't be cloudy or rainy or whatever, but the sun and the moon are constantly rising and setting almost, for the most part, within a few days here and there, year after year after year. So there are some places that I will go only the month of July because I know down where I'm at the shore that the sun sets over this patch of woods and when it sets this kind of fog mist rolls out of the woods and just gives a spectacular picture. It's just, it's breathtaking. But it's only going to happen in July. That's the only time the sun's setting there. If it's later, it's setting somewhere else. If it's earlier, it's setting somewhere else. The same with the moon. Uh, and so it's a nice way to keep track of things that you can duplicate success. If you said, oh my God, I got a great sunrise. I got a great sunset. You can almost know that if you go there a year later, if the conditions are right, the weather's good, you're almost going to get that same look again. So that's kind of a nice thing to do. Um, but it, it, it's along the lines of having a plan. Uh, you know, again, in the first video, we discussed having a plan. But, you know, as we're getting older and, and a lot on our plate, we forget things. And so I like to keep things written down a little bit. It keeps me a little focused, a little bit organized. And it kind of, you know, lets me uh, year to year sort of look at some of the ideas I had. Um, don't get me wrong. Not, not every idea, not everything I uh, wrote down comes to fruition. Um, some of it I just don't get to. Some of it 
something else took priority. Um, sometimes midway through the year, a couple of those ideas I have, I don't want to do them anymore and I want to try something else. But at least it's a start and it, it gives you a baseline sort of start to the new year and an idea of where you want to go with things. Um, and it, I found it really helpful. So uh, hopefully that helps you guys out. It gives you a little bit of direction. Um, and I hope you like the video. Uh, if you like the video, give it the thumbs up, like button. Subscribe if you would. I'd appreciate it. And leave a comment or a suggestion or a question in the uh, comments below. And I will certainly do my best to get back to everybody and answer them. And uh, hopefully I can help you or you can help me. I uh, hope you guys have a great day. Thank you.